Every year, there continues to be a number of aircraft accidents related to weight and balance issues. Compliance with the weight and balance limits of any aircraft is critical to flight safety. For clarity, specific weight and balance calculations will be performed on a Cessna 172. The maximum takeoff weight is a limitation placed on the aircraft by its manufacturer. It's a fixed weight. Operating close to or above the maximum takeoff weight compromises the structural integrity and produces a higher takeoff and landing speed since more lift is needed to counteract weight, which results in a longer takeoff run and landing roll, a higher stalling speed and reduced rate of climb since the aircraft is already close to the critical angle of attack, the angle at which the wing stalls trying to maintain flight. However, an aircraft can fail to take off below maximum takeoff weight. Pilots should consider density altitude, that is, the density of air particles traveling over the wing necessary to produce lift, runway conditions, and wind. Headwind creates more lift, while tailwind opposes the lift. Balance refers to the location of the center of gravity of an aircraft. The CG is a point at which the aircraft would balance if it were suspended from that point. Its location depends on the distribution of weight. More concern is taken into balancing the aircraft along the longitudinal axis. CG must not be confused with center of pressure. In rather the same way, the weight is considered to act through one point, so too does lift through the center of pressure. There are a few terms we need to understand before progressing. The datum is an imaginary vertical plane established by the manufacturer from which all measurements of arm are taken from. On the Cessna, it's located at the firewall. It is not the fulcrum, however. The aerodynamic fulcrum is the center of pressure. The arm is the distance of a weight measured in inches from the datum. Arms forward of the datum have a negative value, while aft arms have a positive value. A moment is a force that tries to cause rotation about the center of pressure and is the product of the arm in inches and the weight in pounds. Moments are generally expressed in pound inches. To calculate CG, we must determine two variables, total weight and total moment. By plotting the location of these on an envelope graph, we can evaluate whether the aircraft is safe to fly. The envelope is the place where the aircraft can be balanced while still having favorable flight characteristics. Weights to be calculated are specified on the load sheet. Basic empty weight is the weight of the aircraft without payload and usable fuel. Also consider that each gallon of fuel weighs 6 pounds. There are two methods available to find the moment. The computational method involves locating the arm of the object, often referred to as a station, and multiplying it by its weight to establish the moment. The product is divided by a constant to simplify computations. This is known as a moment index. Graphs in the POH can also calculate moments without the use of arms. Each line represents the location of respective weights. Note that the moment value is already in index form. Once all weights and moments are found, they must be added to establish total weight and moment. The figures are then transferred to the envelope graph. In this case, the aircraft is safe to fly and is located in the utility category. This enables the aircraft to sustain a load factor of plus 4.4 Gs and minus 1.76 Gs, while the normal category allows a load factor of plus 3.8 Gs and minus 1.52 Gs. Although the envelope graph shows combinations of weight and moment, Another graph can be used to visually determine the exact position of the CG, the CG limits graph. The weight axis remains unchanged, however, manipulation of the moment formula is required to locate the arm coordinate. The CG limits represent the most forward or aft position permitted for the center of gravity. But what occurs if an aircraft is outside CG limits? In a nose heavy configuration, the CG is located forward of the CP. As a result, a turning moment is created. The aerodynamic force of the elevator is used to counteract this. This aircraft is quite stable and its forward CG aids it to return to its original position after being disturbed. Both the CG and elevator deflection generate large amounts of moment. Therefore, the wing needs to maintain a higher angle of attack to produce more lift, bringing it closer to stalling. If a stall develops, the forward CG aids the aircraft to exit the stall. Even if it transitions to a spin, a larger distance from the CG to the rear control surfaces provide plenty of moment to oppose it. Conversely, aft CG is less stable. Less elevator input is needed to restore balance as the CG is positioned close to the CP. 
Thus, smaller moments produce lower angle of attack, decreasing stall speed. Stalling a tail heavy aircraft is very dangerous, since the CG position will not allow the nose to drop. Spin recovery is almost impossible because the rear control surfaces cannot deliver an adequate moment. My name's Stephen. My name's Dylan. And always remember to weigh up your options. Very nice. Very nice, Steve. Thank you.